Well, ladies and gentlemen, this is episode three. Yeah. Episode three. And on the show, it's what? Uh, uh, day four. Day four. Yeah, day four. Episode three out of out of ten. So we're going to let y'all know what we feel. This is the F&G show. The F&G show. And talking we, about them. Them it is. <laughs> and we're talking about now. Once episode, again. We're just going to get right into this episode. Oof. Uh, cause it was kind of crazy. Yeah, it um, was all over the place this time. Each each episode get crazier and crazier. Uh, what, what what's your thoughts and feelings on this one? Well, you know, the 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 ring leader, the ring leader is always looks like the wife, the ring leader. Oh yeah, and um, <clears throat> but she is sitting in the restaurant with the milkman, ladies and gentlemen. No, he was at their house. Was it at the house? I thought it was at the restaurant with the milkman. No, the milkman came to the house. He always comes oh. in and have a little tea and crumpet. <laughs> so, oh, okay. So, I mean, she was at the house with the milkman. I don't know where her husband was. and Yeah. So, you know, and she wants all the black people out the neighborhood. And maybe that might play a part because the husband act like he really don't care about the black folks being there. Yeah, yeah. But the wife do. Yeah. Well, it, this episode kind of cleared it up some. Um, it looks like the people in Compton in this subdivision, there's one ringleader and that's this one woman trying to get everybody to, to attack the black couple in the neighborhood, but they really don't care about it that much. She's the ringleader. Yeah. The milkman is at the house with the woman who's causing all the ruckus, trying to get the black people out the neighborhood and getting the rest of the subdivision to go in on the the attacks and the scary things that they're trying to do. And it is scary because <laughs> this black family is having all kinds of emotional trauma in this show. And I'm not sure I understand what's going on, especially with this baby that they, yes. this, this son that disappeared in their first episode. And we ain't seen nothing about that baby no more. Yeah. That's, that's one thing that tripped me out was about the baby, man. What, 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 uh, what I liked about this episode was when the father was up on the roof, he said, Oh, yeah. The dude said, Hey, we're going to come up there if you don't come down. He said, Well, if you come up here, you're going to go down faster than you came up here. I love that word. And I if love I come that down line. Here, it might take a little bit longer, but, but I'm going to get you. You. Then I'm going to get you. You. Then I'm gonna get you. you. He wasn't messing around. He was going to get all three of them but guys. He was holding that thing. He was shaking, boy. Started getting the, you can't mess with them crazy dudes, man. We're getting shell shocked from the war. Yeah, and he was shell shocked too. Yeah. He was shell shocked. Yeah, he was gonna get him. They had to came up there. They would have probably not survived the, the oh, yeah. incident. Then they said, "Well, just stay away from. Tell that mammy to stay away from my boy." Mm -hmm. He walked mm -hmm. away. <laughs> oh, but that woman that she just ooh, she irks me. Oh, she yeah. said, "Ain't nothing worked in Compton from other than mammies and maids." I said, "Ooh, ooh gosh," and I know because my mother worked as a maid. She worked for a white person. All her life. And then my auntie <laughs> worked for a white lady all her life. But they, apparently these white people apparently liked her. But she worked as a maid. And my uncle, Luther, worked as a butler. Luther Vandross? No, my uncle Luther was a butler. <laughs> and it was these rich white people they worked for. And they cooked for them and all that stuff. And worked for them pretty much all their lives. Good to have money. And uh, I guess that allowed my... Uncle Luther to buy a little small house, my house in the Baltimore sub subdivision, I guess. You know the row houses in Baltimore yeah, yeah. and stuff. We'd be able to buy those. So I know a little bit about mammies and maids and stuff because I have family members and my own mother worked for a white couple, but they weren't rich white people that my mother worked for. Um, uh, I'm not sure who they were, <laughs> but my mother didn't make no money. That's for sure. Well, <laughs> back to them. <laughs> Frank going down memory lane. Oh, yeah, that that brought back memory lane. When she said mammies and maids, I said, oh, gosh, I remember my mother saying I got to go to the house and, and work. Mm. So, man, uh, final thoughts, man, on this before we move on. Well, I guess all I can say is this show is it will jar your memories. It will jar thoughts. It will make you angry. Um, it will make you upset, but it really is giving a dick, a, a real, a real story mm. of the suffering black people had when they integrated neighborhoods throughout this country. 
it is it was it was I mean, I would have to say I commend all the black people who were the first to integrate a white neighborhood. Yeah. It was not easy for them. And I understand that this movie is basically this show is basically trying to to, to tell the other side of the story, the post-traumatic slave syndrome that we suffer from time to time as a result <laughs> of it. So it is very, very it's a very it's being done very good. And uh, and I have to say, all the white people in that subdivision really wasn't really wasn't feeling that one lady that was trying to run the show and she running around pouring sugar in everybody's gas tank in the neighborhood because they want to move out. But we already know the story. And we still ain't heard nothing else about that. No, they maybe they come back and talk about that part of it. I don't know. Mm. We shall see. But I know one thing is that uh, we still got like what three more, uh, seven more episodes. Seven more episodes. So we'll get to the next one. Uh, next time, mm-hmm. and we'll give you our views, the thoughts, and feelings on it the only way we can from the FNG show. The FNG show. Watch with, them. That's right. And with that, we are out. Literally and figuratively. <laughs> <laughs>